And now the sales stage is really about converting that lead to a customer, right? And the thing I want to mention here uh, is how little attention most cleaning business owners pay to their sales script, okay? Um, your sales script should be written, okay? It should be tested and it should be tweaked until you're getting the sales results that you want. Um, I had a sales girl um, that does, no longer works for me, but, but she was having difficulty selling, right? And so um, we took the sales script and we tweaked it, rearranged a few things, and it's amazing the difference in her sales. I mean, literally, it was a noticeable large difference difference in the number of sales she converted just by changing the order of what she was presenting with, okay? When you're on the phone with a potential client or, or, or whoever you hire to do this, I, I have a sales school that does this. So some of the skills that you or they have to have is not only do you have to be able to deliver a sales script in a way that works, um, you've also got to be able to you know, educate potential clients on the value of your company, you know, and definitely be able to address objections. You know, the biggest one that most of us hear are, wow, you're expensive. You know, have you really thought about scripting out what you're going to say? Okay, sit down and write it out. Now, once you say it 10 times, you don't have to look at the notes anymore, but it's good to really sit down and think through how am I going to make, how am I going to handle the, the typical objections that come up during a sales call, okay? And then to be able to close the sale by using good sales technique, you know? And one of those is by using closing questions, okay? And so here's, here's a few I'll, I'll give you, and uh, these things work like a charm. So at some point in the sales call, you know, you've, you've delivered to them a price for your your top to bottom, your general, your, your bi-weekly service, or whatever they're looking for. And then what you have to do is you have to say, what works best for you? A general clean or a top to bottom? The question asks them to make a decision. Well, I'm thinking the deep clean might be best. Okay. Well, when would you like to get started? Well, I don't know, but I was thinking next week. Okay. Is Tuesday or Wednesday better for you? Wednesday's better. Closing questions, I mean, they're not going to always close your sale, but they move people closer to a decision, okay? So just, you know, pick up some books on sales. Uh, there's a bunch of them out there. And, uh, you know, learn some really good sales techniques that are not what they call salesy. They're not pushy. I don't believe in that. But there are some techniques that kind of help people march them down the sales path to a conclusion that you're looking for, which is a closed sale.